Hi everyone, it's Dog and Cat Class X Wing, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the double origami. And this is Mike H.O. Loomer's original design, so shout out to him. And don't forget to do the challenge that I did for my Starburst tutorial with Jenna G, which is my last video. So please check out that. And without further ado, let's get into the double origami material list. So you will need a loom for this. I will be using a rainbow loom and instead of a like normal staggered position loom, you'll need it with all the pin bars aligned. You will need a hook. I will be using a metal tip hook because of the tension, but you could also use a plastic tip hook. You also need one C clip. You, you can either use S-clip or O-clip. And lastly, bands. I will be showing you those next. The bands I will be using will be the Sweets Pack, Silver, Solar Moon, which changes in the sun, and Cotton Candy. So, let's get into the tutorial. Your arrows will be starting pointing away from you. And you take your first color and go... Down the loom. And you continue that all the way down to that pin right there. This is what your loom should look like when you are done with that. And you should have used double bands for each of those. And now I'm taking my next color. I'm only taking a single band, and I'm skipping these row. And I'm only going from the middle to the left, and then the middle to the right. And then I'm skipping up to this pin right here. I'm going from the middle to the left, and then the middle to the right. And then I'm repeating that. All the way down my loom. And you are not used putting the silver bands on DC pins. Instead, you're only putting them on those pins right there. So it's one, the second row of pin bars from the top of your loom. So this is another overview of what your loom should look like after you place the silver bands, or whatever bands that you use. I could have used the cotton candy bands, but I decided not to. So I'm going to take my third color. I'm going to be using Solar Moon for this part. And you're going to stretch it from this pin to this pin. And then the middle to the right up there. And you have to stretch it a little farther since it's not in a staggered position. And then you continue this process all the way down on both sides and you stop where you did with the silver bands. So this is what your loom should look like. And then you're going to take two more of those same colors and do what you did at the very beginning. You just take them and put them into the middle. I did the left first, and then I did the right. And now we're going to take a capping band. I'm going to be using one royal purple for the capping band. And you're just going to twist it twice and place it right there. You're going to flip the loom around, and now we are beginning the hooking process. So you go into the capping band and grab the top band, which should be the band that you use for the border. And it should be going to the right, and then you grab the band that is going to the left. And then you continue grabbing those bands. And you are continuing down until right here. So this is what your loom should look like. And then you hook those bands going from there to there. 
there to there, and then there to there. And, yeah. So this is what your loom should look like after you hook those bands. And this is the very weird part. You're going to actually take off those bands and move them into the middle. So it should be like that. And you do that on both sides. So this is what your loom should look like after you did that. And then you push those bands down so you have enough room for more bands to be looped. So then you're gonna, s you're not going into the capping band yet. You are hooking over those silver bands into the middle pin. And you can, so it should look, be looking like that. And then you are going to be continuing that all the way until those bands end. This is what your loom should look like when you are done. And then you're going to go into your capping band. And you are going to be hooking those first bands that you place. So you will be hooking them forward and you might need to push down your bands in case they are getting tight. So you continue that down. So this is what your loom should look like after you've done the entire hooking process. So then you take your hook and you go in to the loom and it's a little hard for this stuff since the pins are not in static. And you just go up and find the band, and then you just pull off your loom. And this is what your loom should now, this is what your bracelet should now look like. And then you attach a C-clip. You make an extension, not a C-clip. I said that, and I, was, I you don't attach the C-clip. You do your extension first. So this is what my extension looks like, and then I will, and then you just attach a C-clip to that, and you pull off your extension. So then to finish off your bracelet, you just attach the C-clip to the capping band that you used, and there you have your final product of your double R bomb. So this is my final product. Sorry, it's a little hard to see. But I think it looks really cool. So thank you guys so much for watching this double origami bracelet tutorial. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!